Wings TV with uh, victorious manager Warren Feeney after the 2-1 home win over Chesham. Uh, Warren, before we start, you made one change to the starting level. You brought in Ashley and Zala at the expense of Medi Alito. What was the thinking behind that? I wanted to win the game. <laughs> um, no, look, I just thought that, you know, I started with Ash in the first game of the season, but I'm probably his biggest critic. He's got ability. He needs to... Uh, he needs to take people on more. Um, I looked at where we could hurt Chesant. Matty's a good player. I had Matty before at Newport. Um, he knows what I expect. And uh, I told him that he hasn't been up to where I want him to be. But as I say, he's a very, very good player. And I thought it's a game tonight for Ice to go and express himself. And, uh, you know, I think the kid doesn't understand how much ability he's got at times, you know. He gloats past people and then he'll make that pass for him sitting there going, go on, keep going. But uh, I thought he, he, he defended very well and it was a very, very workman performance from us tonight. Yeah, I think it's fair to say, obviously, what was your message to the team before the game? I know you were disappointed with defending on, on, on Saturday, so it was the first message to, to, to keep it tight at the back. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, the big thing for me was I thought we defended superbly tonight. It's not easy coming on the back of Saturday to go and do what we did tonight, defend against the team who I thought, to be honest, I watched them against Dartford on Saturday. I thought they were very good in the first 20 minutes. And uh, whenever teams were putting balls in your box, throw-ins, free kicks, it's very, very hard to defend. But I thought the two centre-backs and the, the full-backs stood very tall tonight um, and put on a very good performance. Yeah, I was going to say that, Nick's obviously the first 20 minutes was quite cagey for both teams, but a lot of long throws coming in from both sides of the pitch and, and the whole team stood up to be candid for that. No, uh, listen, uh, I'm a big believer in you defend and that's it. Defenders are defenders. Um, but I thought that the, everyone from the front too, you see Paney in the 87th minute making a tackle in the 18-yard box. Uh, that's that's incredible for the for the 30 year old, and it shows you where he's played. Addy the same, but they're just, you know, when you've got players like that, they're up front. You've always a chance. Um, you know, we've got good experience. Donny in the middle, Heidi again for me. I've told Heidi, he should be getting more goals. And uh, there, what's he got two already this season? He could have had one in the first game. So, look, I want us to play. But I'm, uh, I'm pleased for everyone after Saturday's result because they really had a dogged performance. But I thought there was some good stuff. A wee bit more cuteness. We could have could have had a couple more goals. Um, but I'm pleased with the three points is the big thing. Absolutely. Towards the end of that first half, there was some really lovely stuff played. Uh, as you say, Tyreek scored his second goal of the season already. And I thought the move for, this, for the second goal was an excellent bit of football. You know what, if you're sitting here watching Match of Day at night, they'll be looking at the counter-attack and from that it was their corner and we broke down and, you know, I've said to Tom, I'm not worried about Tom going forward. I'm in for him to defend here and, and the kid, uh, he's a centre-back, but he's got great enthusiasm and he, he caught a fantastic ball across the box um, for the striker, but it come from Heidi, Taylor Maloney, I thought was exceptional tonight. You know, I want to get Taylor in the team and I'm putting him in a position where He's probably uh, not used to, but he's very comfortable with it. Um, and you know what? I'm, I'm just pleased for everyone, as I said to you. It was great to see the fans turn out again tonight, which is a big thing for me. You know, there's a good buzz about the place. Um, Saturday was fantastic, and tonight again, there was the come out in their numbers, which is pleasing. And we want to play good football. Um, and as I said, it's good to get the first win on the board. Obviously, you know, we've nearly got to our time, and the game's been comfortable. And then, uh, as, as we're having football, the ball goes up one minute of injury time, and we give away a soft goal, which must have. Uh, you know what? Done your head in. That's the joys of football. Um, I keep saying to my boys, it's a 90 minute game. You know what? You've got to concentrate. And I was a bit disappointed with the way we conceded it, but fair play to them. It's not easy when you concede right on half time to come out. And I thought we started the, the, the game very well. Um, even when a team goes down to 10 men, they'll throw the kitchen sink at it. People think, oh, you'll just go, but they've nothing to lose. And sometimes the pressure can't come on you. And I've been brought up uh, as a manager from a coach of mine who always played overloads. So one team was, you know, 1 0 up uh, with, with 10 men, and you had to go and defend the lead. It's a big thing you do in training. And, uh, as I said, you've learned that and I thought the boys were fantastic today. Obviously, you'd have loved that third goal to go in. They've, they've gone down to 10 and, as you say, they, they've not thrown a tail in at all. And, you know, they made it very difficult for us. Do you think, you know, further into the season with a bit more composure or a bit, a bit more confidence, perhaps a little bit of nerves, that we, Look, we, we would have gone on we, the we, We'll not kick into the end of October, November. I'm telling you, I know people's getting excited and saying this, but I can tell you now, you've turned over 19 players. 
it's not easy. We, we had to bring players in where we finished last year. You know, you look at Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp, it took him four years to win the league and his players never got into where he was in October, November. And it's going to be the same here. The boys are getting into the methods that I want. Um, some that's, It's new to some of them because, you know, some have been training two, two nights. So, as I said to you, look, I, I know what we have got. Um, and I'm pleased. And as I said to you, the, the big thing was to keep going and moving in the right direction. We've just got to be competitive this year and build again. Look, we'll see where it takes us, but we're not looking at anything, um, you know, moving forward because you need a structure in the place off the part we're getting that, on the part we're getting that right. And as I said, it's a slow process, but it's an enjoyable one for everyone. And, and it's one that, you know, us as a board have always said, let's be part of it, get everyone together, fans together. And uh, as I say to you, you know, it's a good place at this moment in time, but we've got to make sure we get it right on the pitch. Yeah, did it, I mean, towards the end of the game, they're obviously they're a man light. Did it cross your mind to make one or two changes to freshen it up? You know what? I, I did do, I did do. Yeah. But you know what? I looked at it and Craig Holloway, my coxie, my coach, says maybe you're inviting, inviting pressure, and it does cross my mind. Um, I just looked at it because, you know, whenever teams are putting balls in boxes and areas where. You know, you're just saying they'll put the extra man in defence, but I thought we managed the game very, very well in the last five, six minutes. Um, you know, you go back to last year, the haven't we conceded, but I thought today we held the ball in areas, and I know some fans are going cross the ball, uh, you know, put it, they want to see good football. I want to win games. And you know what, that's game management they showed today. And as I said, when you've got big players on that pitch, they're the professional ones who know that game management, and I thought they were superb on it. Yeah, and just one last word for this. I mean, 650 plus, it's another yeah. Tuesday in August when there's a lot of holidays. Fantastic turnout from the home fans and, and you can board them with a win. You're 650 and, and the Rangers is on the TV tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, listen, I said they're fantastic. It was a great on Saturday, um, the fans. And, you know, listen, it was a disappointing result, but they stuck by the boys. It was always tough coming into Tuesday night, but we couldn't wait to get out. You know, the boys came in yesterday, we trained. Um, and it's great to see the fans tonight again. And you know what, we want we want these crowds here. You know, as I said, it's going to take time, but we want the boys to they enjoy football, the fans to enjoy it and, and get the club rocking and get everyone together. And now we go to Hamel on Saturday, obviously another quick turnaround and uh, plastic pitch there. And uh, I'm not sure what there is always tonight, but you go into that game full of confidence now. Yeah, definitely. Look, we've got to wrap the boys in cotton wool. Um, you know, we'll, we'll go through the quick and fast, but this is what I'm used to. This is what we base our fitness around, 46 games. Um, and I know it's early days in the season. Uh, I'll probably not kick into 10, 10 to 12 games, but we've got to make sure we're ready. Um, and you can see the, the fitness levels of the boys that why well, majority of them played 90 minutes again tonight. Um, and as I say, Dean, please, we'll look forward to Hamill on Saturday as, and go there with confidence after tonight. Congratulations on the win and uh, we'll catch up with you again before the Hamill game. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy Thank you. Tomorrow. Thank you.